Hey, what's poppin' kings and queens? Royal Gilly here from Team Royal Gaming. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Because I am doing amazing. Today, today, I am finally legal. You can finally watch porn. Been waiting a long fucking time, man. And I can finally watch pornography. Today is my birthday. Yeah! yeah! So I'm making a damn video because this is what I love to do. I would love a birthday present from all of you, blowjob, or a like, but, I mean, I don't deserve that, though. I'm just saying, right? Like, I don't deserve that. A blowjob or a hand job. I deserve that, though. <laughs> Speaking of blowjobs, hand jobs, and clicking my like button, my last video had this comment on it from the man, the myth, Xcode. He says, ha, ha, ha. I wouldn't recommend busting if she's on the pill. One time someone I know did that, then I was born. Oh shit. Oh. Damn. So, you know, here's what I think. Shit. I think automatically, you know what? No. You gotta take risks in life. The greatest rewards come by taking big risks. And it's what, like 99% effective if uh, a girl's on the pill? So I'm gonna take that 1%. 5%, 10%, I don't fucking care because that's one of my favorite things to do. It's beautiful. You just fill the tank up. You let her know, you know what? If you're gonna have sex with me, you better be willing to have my babies. That's how it is. I'm not just gonna fuck you. And if I'm having fucking sex with you, you're obviously in a good spot, okay? A good enough spot to be the mother of baby little Royal Gilly, okay? So. Keep that into consideration, but seriously, if you aren't me, yeah, X code A is definitely right. Don't bust in the pussy, because that's how babies are made. It's not some sexual, like, fantasy at that point. It's a loaded weapon. How you create little annoying children, okay? So be careful. Don't bust in the pussy. That's it. But now that we are on the topic of pussy, kind of related, I wanted to tell you guys a story. Some funny shit that happened to me last week. It was wild. It was the fucking most awesome shit that happened to me in my life. So, for those of you who don't know, I work at IHOP. Okay, I think I've mentioned that in videos and posted all over my Twitter and Instagram and whatnot. Serving pancakes, making... Well, I don't make the breakfast, but you know, I'm a waiter, okay? Bring food to the table, say, hey, you guys want some drinks? I'll take your order, shit like that, okay? And two of these nights, I... Two of the nights during the week, I work a lot, actually. It's fucking ridiculous and kind of annoying. But it's okay, it pays off and shit, right? Two of the nights in the week, Wednesday night and Thursday night, they fuck my ass, okay? I work from 10 p.m. till 6 in the morning. That's overnight, because the shit's open 24 hours. It's cool. I meet a lot of interesting people, okay? Particularly people under the influence. You know, most of the time, people on a regular schedule aren't into drugs. People who are into drugs have fucked up schedules. They're up all night, you know, fucking going to IHOP at 4 in the morning, right? Drunk as hell, leaving Royal Gilly big fat tips. That's right. This one particular night. I will never forget this night. I was bored. We didn't have anybody coming in. And then I hear uh, somebody come in. It's this old lady. I'm talking old. 60 plus. Grandma shit, okay? Old. So I'm like, oh, this is weird. What the fuck is she doing here? And instantly, the next thing I notice is, damn, this, this girl's drunk. Drunk as hell, stumbling, big smile on her face. Hey, how are you? What's your name? I'm just like, oh shit, okay. Like, more fucked up. Like, most people can control themselves and they're okay, but it's like, you're 60. Most 60-year-olds really don't get drunk like this, I think. I don't know. And she's fucked up by herself here at IHOP. Awesome. Let's do this. I was ready. I sit her down, take her to a table. She's like, and she's just talking to me, like, a lot. Like, I felt like I was being flirted with, but I was like, no. You know, she's old. She's like, what's your name? Oh, I like your da-da-da-da. What does your parents do? And so I get her drinks. And when I come back with her orange juice, she's like, Alec, I have a question. I have $14 to tip you. I'm like, well, don't you want me to take your order first? And she's like, well, I was wondering if you could take a break and eat your food with me. I was like, and I, I didn't say anything for like two seconds. And then she just jumped right in and was like, I'll give you a $14 tip. Now, regardless 
of the $14 tip, I would have done it. You know, drunk old lady, this shit's gonna be entertaining. I'm not doing anything, she's lonely. Here we go. So I went and I was like, told the cook, I was like, hey man, can I get some pancakes? Nobody else in the store. Me, manager, and this really fucked up old lady. And I got some pancakes, I got her food. She ordered a shit ton, okay? A lot of food. And I sat down with her. Felt kinda like fun. I felt like I was on a date because, man, she just, like, eyes wide open, really, really admiring me. She was drunk, okay? You know, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to brag saying I was about to get the pussy, but I was. And, you know, she, she really just asked me about me. I was like, what does your dad do? And she was like, I told her. What does your mom do? I told her. Uh, what, wait, what does your dad do? I was like, oh, sh fuck, okay, this is what my dad does for a living. You want to get him in here too, threesome, huh? You know? Whatever. We ate food. She left me a $14 tip. Her meal was like 12, 11 bucks. So she's tipping me more than, you know. That shit was cool. Not only was it entertaining and exciting experience to be flirted with and go on a date with a 60 year old drunk woman, but I got money. Got some little extra pocket change, you know? And man, I felt bad because I didn't realize it, but she left. I was like, okay, I'm glad she's leaving. I'm kind of, you know, this is getting kind of weird because she's telling me about her divorce. And I'm like, okay, I'm done now. And I didn't realize it until about 30 minutes later, but she left, right? She left drunk as fuck, man, driving. And I'm like, damn, I hope, I hope that wasn't her last meal. But if it was, I guess uh, it kind of works out because she'll be remembered. Nah, but good girl, good lady, dated that night. It's good getting out here in the game, you know, I just got out of a relationship, so stepping back out there is important, you know. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. Peace out, kings and queens. Leave a like. Goodbye! Hi, my name is... Hi, my name is... Hi, my name is... It's Royal Gilly! Hi, my name is... Hi, my name is... Hi, my name is... It's Royal Gilly! Hi, my name is... Hi, Excuse my name me! Is,